case. Um, it happened in November at the Tim Hortons in front of the works, which was a very lucky, lucky situation. Um, I literally, I was revived there with naloxone. The man that had overdosed me dropped me in there and I was, they started their um, CPR and naloxone administration right away. Um, I was saved. And The Ontario Association of Police Chiefs hosted a press conference for Face of Fentanyl today at Humber College's Lakeshore campus. Niagara Police Chief Jeff McGuire briefed the crowd on fentanyl, a prescription drug that's made its way onto the streets. Fentanyl is a killer. When someone misuses this legal painkiller prescribed by physicians, it kills. You can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. But if your drug of choice happens to be caught with it, it'll kill you. Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders was also at the event, where he was asked about safe injection sites and their role in reducing drug-related deaths. Well, you know, Councillor Koreshi is, uh, is doing an excellent job on uh, making the awareness piece of safe injection sites in the City of Toronto. In 2013, that number had increased to 206. Yesterday morning, we found out that in 2014, it had increased to 252 people. Saving lives is important, so let, let's make no mistake about that. Whatever we need to do, uh, whatever we need to do to make sure that that, that happens is, is, uh, is something we're going to look at. Three years ago, Tina Espy died from a fentanyl overdose. Her mother, Sherry Dolk, has been sharing her daughter's story to help others. So there, like, there's been a lot of changes since Tina died. It was three years ago. There's, um, it's a lot more in the public eye now. Uh, you can never have enough you know, information in there. Um, Things like naloxone, so that was nothing. That wasn't out there when Tina died. It wasn't available. It wasn't even given to her when they took her 